All right, so we're gonna use the, we're gonna talk about inversions real quick. Um, we're gonna use C chord that we learned for our shuffle blues pattern. I think we just talked about that, okay. We're gonna talk about inversions real quick while we're here. Now we're gonna play these dominant seven chords in a new position called an inversion. The notes of the inverting chord are placed differently than our basic root, root positions. We just did root positions. Now we're doing a different position, okay? So the C dominant seven chord will remain in the root position. So it's gonna be C, E, G, B flat. Now when you go to the F chord, and you go to the F seven chord, it's usually F, E, C, E flat. But to make it easier on your movement, we're gonna change it down. We're gonna move the C here. E, C, E flat, F, A. So it's the same spelling, just in a different order. So instead of doing this, this is root position. This is first inversion, when you just shift it over one. And this is second inversion. All right, so seven chords. This is the second inversion, C, E flat, F, A. And then, um, thank you so much. And then the G chord, G chord is written down below in root position. G, G, B, D, F, G, B, D, F. But we're gonna put it in a second inversion as well. This is the first inversion, B, D, F, G. And you can practice like this, you can do like First inversion. Second inversion. Third inversion. All right, so we're gonna put it in the second inversion. Then, so put it all together on page 53. So we got root position, one, two, three, four. C, second inversion of L. Second inversion of G. Second inversion of L. Second inversion of G. Second inversion of L. Second inversion of G. Root position of C. Okay.